Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola here at Jazz at Lincoln Center here in New York City. The Clayton brothers have given the world of jazz some of the most straight ahead and funky soul jazz for 25 years. Both John and Jeff continue to keep the family tradition going. Gerald who is the pianist, is the younger generation, who happens to be the son, as well as the nephew of both John and Jeff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sounds of the Clayton Brothers, featuring Gerald Clayton on piano. This is very much in the same vein as the Adderley brothers, the Heath brothers, the Marcellus brothers. It seems like the family that stays together plays together. <laughs> uh, that sure is the, the situation in our case. I don't know if that's normally it, but yeah, we stay together and we do play together. Now, how did you guys get exposed? How did this journey begin? Uh, well, you know, our mother was, uh, uh, she played piano conducted the choirs, and sang in the church. And so straight from the church, probably like the Adelie brothers and the Heath brothers. So who was the, the, the main influence that got you guys into jazz? Who was that person or that figure that said, okay, here's Miles, here's, here's Cannonball? Who, who, were the, who was that person that did that for you? Uh, that was a small community of people. It was, um, first of all, just exposure from our uncle who had an amazing jazz collection but also around that time we were being exposed through high school um, and you know the jazz band the big band in the high school and that sort of that sound that energy kind of spurred interest like oh man where's that come from so if we're playing for instance uh, in the in the jazz band in high school something like mercy 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 that we we got to find out where that came from so I think it started, I think it started there in terms of jazz. And also, you know, personally, I remember in high school, somebody playing me a record of Ray Brown that just blew my mind all, out. So I just had to find out who is this Ray Brown guy. And coincidentally, he was teaching a workshop course at UCLA. And even though I was just in high school, I enrolled in that course. So, you know, it's, it's again, it's a community of people, at least it was for me. And what about yourself? Well, it was the same for me. Of course, my brother is three years older than I am, so he was playing jazz before I was. But I chose an instrument at school and was a part of that same uh, jazz band in high school. And then uh, we had a lot of soul music around the house. And some of that soul music included uh, some straight eighth music, which, which was uh, uh, Eddie Harris. And so it's almost like there's a, uh, there's a road that you can take on the straight eighths through Eddie Harris to the jazz music. And there's just this wonderful uh, uh, body of work by other jazz musicians that Eddie Harris led us to. Because that was improvisational also, of course. We stand on the corner and see what legs are showing. Some of the girls will walk by and don't like the look on my face. But every last one says, can I pluck that bass? That's one of my favorite parts. We must have walked over a mile or more. I commenced getting tired because my feet was getting sore. So I said, Bass, we've walked pretty far. 
let's go have a little taste in this soulful looking bar. So we walked in in order to, and the bartender, he's standing there like he don't know what to do. So I said, hey man, why that blank look on your face? He said, first time in my life I've ever seen a drinking bass. And we were walking. Another important component to the Clayton Brothers unit is the fact that now your son, your nephew, is the pianist of the unit. How did this come about? Well, Gerald, I think we at some point needed a sub in a rehearsal or something like that. And by then, Gerald was far enough along that we knew he could help us out. He could hang. He could hang in there. So we asked him to do the rehearsal, and um, and then, you know, it, it felt good, it felt right. But then, at some point, when he graduated from uh, college, from the university, I, I was a little reluctant, even though my brother and I had said, well, let's see if we can get Gerald to play more. I, I was a little reluctant, because I figured he's graduated, he wants to play with guys his age and do his own thing. He didn't, I didn't want him to feel pressured to play in his dad's and uncle's band, you know. So I, I I said, look, we'd love for you to do the, these few gigs we've got coming up, but, you know, it, it's really up to you. I, don't, I just want to make sure you're cool with that. He said, oh, yeah, it's been my dream to play in this band, which is something he had never expressed to me before then, that this was one of his goals. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a wonderful experience to have this much family around you. It's a it's quite a blessing. There's nothing like it. Um, do we argue? Yeah, we argue. <laughs> but um, we, uh, we default to being together. It's like a marriage. In marriage, I, I learned it very late. But you default to being with your wife. And, and you tell her, like, like we decide also, if you need to get rid of me, baby, I'm going to move to the other bedroom. Okay. <laughs> You'll see me at breakfast. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I like Terrell, Terrell and Obed, those guys. I've seen them in multiple units and, and play with a lot of great musicians. What is it that they're bringing to your sound and to your music? In one word, I'd say fire. You know, both of those guys, they bring so much excitement and fire to what we do. But, of course, uh, they bring the other extreme as well. They bring the beauty of a mellow song to the group, and they both know how to do that. And it's especially evident in what my brother and Terrell do together because they really work hard on blending and uh, creating a sound together, not not a sound that's created by two people, but a sound that's as if it were one person. So uh, they, they, bring, they bring that fire, but they also bring the mellow beauty. I must say it's also rare to be able to play with another horn player like Taro and to have the same thought processes. We think about uh, climbing into the middle of each other's sound. And a lot of horn players say, no, you just play your part and I'll play my part. But um, to be able to think like that and to execute it is, is also very, very special. But there are, a lot of us think, all of us think uh, close to the same. We have a lot of the same uh, values and that's what allows us to present our music with uh, honor and we have the same idea of having fun and so all of these things fit together like a big puzzle. I've seen Terrell play with Bobby Watson and I saw him play here at Dizzy's <laughs> and he plays so hard and so strong that the brother didn't even bust a sweat. <laughs> I mean the brother is intense when he plays. When you hear his solos you're like man. <laughs> well the good news is we make him sweat a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. He's incredibly intense, but that's what we want. So we're the same way. You know, we had that kind of focus on uh, and love for what we do. 
so it's it's a perfect fit. What's interesting is that you guys have so many different hats or wore or wearing many hats. Why is it that you guys decided in 1978 to, to start the Clayton Brothers unit? I don't think we actually thought about it. I think we just said, uh, here's some songs, let's play them. And it just, it just evolved. I don't remember saying, okay, we need to start a band. We need to call it the Clayton Brothers. We need, we need to make sure everybody understands what, nothing, none of that. We didn't do that. We just, we just played. That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. Reporting live here at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola here at Jazz at Lincoln Center here in New York City. I'd like to personally thank the Clayton Brothers for their time, as well as the staff here at Dizzy's for their hospitality, as well as their time. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Peace. Peace.